Moving on, following years and years of development and delays, the Israeli Ministry of Defense, the United States Missile Defense Agency, and Israel Aerospace Industries, among others, finally successfully tested the Aero 3 missile defense system. And specifically, in the joint U.S.-Israeli tests in Alaska, the Aero 3 proved fruitful in intercepting intercontinental ballistic missiles outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Well, here now with more, we have Major General Dr. Yom Tov Samia, the former head of the IDF Southern Command, and via Skype, Brigadier General Ram Shmueli, the former head of the Israel Air Force Intelligence. Thank you both very much for coming in. Thank you. So, Brigadier General, we'll actually start with you. Uh, Ram, you know, what is the significance of the Aero 3 launch success in Alaska? It's a huge success uh, since we, uh, we hear about the ballistic missile threat from Iran, and especially now the confrontation between the U.S. and Iran. And the achievement of and the capabilities of Aero 3 actually uh, finished to build the envelope of uh, protecting the state of Israel or any other country that will be under threat. So there are three layers, and this is the upper layer, mm. actually are in space, and it can intercept now, and the, the, it succeed in this test to intercept a kind of a type of ballistic missile. So it's a big success for something that started kind of 20, 20 years ago, 20, 25 years ago. There was a dream, and now there are three layers uh, to protect the state of Israel. It's incredible. But, uh, uh, but Dr. Samia, you know, my question is, is that enough? Because this is an incredible uh, uh, development, the Arrow 3, but is that enough defense, uh, you know, defense alone, I guess I should say? Okay, first of all, all the Bravo words for the successful and without derogating any of the success of the system, which I really salute to the industries and both mm -hmm. countries uh, and Canada as a, uh, who sure. hosts the... Uh, the uh, but I would like to point on something else. I was not the first one who says the best offense, uh, the best defense is a very good offense. Sure. And I'm really worried about the last 20, 30 years of concentrating on more defense system from cast lead, which we will all were happy, but we were 51 days on, inside shelters. And, and uh, counting on those defense system while those, the use of defense system while the enemy, the bad guys, are mm -hmm. co concentrating or using more offense system, like their missiles, it's hurt uh, the deterrence of Israel. And that's what wo what's bothered me uh, the most. So I want to ask you about that, actually, because in terms of deter deterrence, if you're talking about a good offense as, as a defense, is Israel's problem the lack of the proper offensive capabilities or the lack of the will to use them? It's a lack of leadership. Lack of leadership? It's a lack of leadership. Uh, I don't want to be involved in the next election in these sure. words, but, but leaders should put uh, a strategic targets ahead, 10, 20 years ahead, and look forward what's going on in the arena. Huh. And Israel is at, actually under a threat of a, a terror organization only 40,000 people, this is the whole Hamas group, who holds most of Israel, especially the southern part, uh, in the last 11 years, like it's a superpower. That's because we don't have concentrated leadership on uh, looking for the head targets. So, so Rama, I want to hear your, uh, your opinion on this. Can you, you know, how do, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you agree that Israel maybe lacks the leadership or the will to use good off offensive capabilities in, in the fight? You know, is the Arrow 3 enough? Yom Tov Samia talk about uh, Gaza Strip in the southern front. This is a different front, even though the threat is not the same, but you know, it is a kind of a, a ground to a ground uh, missile. So the short range, it's a Gaza Strip. And this is a different scenario. And yes, I agree that there is no leadership to set a strategic uh, plan ahead of time, unfortunately. But if I'm going back to what's happening in Alaska and what is about the threat from Iran, this is a different scenario, of course. And I know 
the general Yom Tov Samia agree with me, this is a strategic uh, threat of, to Israel. If they will enrich uranium like the threat they are going to do, and we know that they have capability of uh, uh, strategic uh, missiles, so this is a, a big achievement for us in order to prevent those missiles to arrive to the state of Israel. But it is also for the U.S., the U.S. and other countries in the world. This is a big achievement for the U.S. as much as it is a big achievement for us, and we are partners, and this is why it's happening in Alaska, so we can kind of uh, check all the, all the envelope of the capability of the arrow, what we can't do in the Mediterranean with, because it is a small area. Mm. So it's a big achievement for the U.S., it's a big achievement for the defense of Israel. Yes, it doesn't talk about what are the offensive options about Iran, but this is not uh, for us to talk now. Now there is something that happened in Alaska, and it is one more step to make Israel uh, more secure. I know. Now, uh, continuing with uh, with the cooperations that you just uh, spoke about, uh, Brigadier General, Dr. Samia, you know, do you do you agree that maybe the cooperations between Israel and the United States are at the highest they've ever been? You know, how, how would you rate that after coming off of this test? Uh, w listen, Israel and the United States are allies, mm -hmm. are more than strong relationship, and it will last forever as long as. Both are democratic countries and understand the, the needs of a democratic country in the, in the Middle East. Uh, so um, again, without derogating any of the success, and it's a big success. Mm -hmm. Israel today is one of the four or five superpowers in the world, not in size, but in, in uh, capabilities and abilities uh, of defense and office system, uh, systems and others. And again, the center of it is the cooperation of United, with the United States, and I agree with Brigadier General Ram that uh, that's an important step between the two countries and to show the old worlds, mainly the bad guys with the long-range missiles, with nuclear weapons and others, that Israel and the United States and any other democratic countries or region are strong together to, to face all this. But again, I hope that somewhere we are working more on offense system sure. to bring back the deterrency of Israel back to where it was 20, 30 years ago, while enemies will count until 20, not three, before attacking Israel with even a Morgad, uh, a small shell, sure. Uh, in the Gaza Strip or any other place. All right, well, major congratulations to everyone involved, of course. Yeah. Uh, major General Samia, Brigadier General uh, Shmueli, thank you both so much for coming in again. Thank you.